This is a video on how to use the wax tube fastener. It doesn't come with any directions, so I thought uh, I might save other people the confusion that I've felt. Um, I start with this block of wax. This block of wax is beeswax that has been melted and filtered from the cappings that I had from last year. And you put that block of wax in the top of this old double boiler. This is a double boiler that I bought at a junk store specifically for this purpose. I stir the wax with chopsticks because I don't want to ruin any of my good spoons. And so the chopsticks are in there to help the wax melt. The wax tube fastener looks like this. It has a tiny little hole on the handle right there. Um, and what you do when you use the wax tube fastener is you cover that hole with your thumb in order to uh, create a, uh, a method of keeping the wax up in the tube. The tube has a tiny hole at the end and the and uh, the hole has to be covered to keep the wax from running down. So I'm going to now cover the wax. I have to pick the uh, double boiler up and let it sit at a sort of a slant so that I can get as much wax in the wax tube pa fastener as possible. I cover the hole with my thumb and then we're going to move over here to the frames. Most people put the wax in the groove but I feel um, at, and then put the starter strip in but I feel better to have the starter strip already in the groove and I run a tiny little bead of wax down the length of the starter strip and it will hold the wax in the groove, the wax starter strip. I'll turn so you can see that a little bit better. Um, I'm going to turn this frame around and do the other side. So again, I fill the, I find the little hole and cover it and carry the wax tube fastener to the frame where I run the tiny little uh, thread of melted beeswax down the length of the frame. Then that one is finished. So I take, take its, exchange its place with the next one and do the same thing. I run a bead of wax down in the groove by the starter strip. Leaving the um, frames at a slant like this allows the wax to run downhill and makes the whole uh, wax tube fastener work a little more efficiently. So I'm doing it on both sides of this frame. And now again I'm going to put the wax tube fastener back in the double boiler so that it can uh, heat up a little, heat, get more melted wax in it. And I'm going to move the next two frames down that we're going to be using next. And now I'm going to put my thumb over the hole. That's the biggest challenge of this whole thing is finding the hole to put your thumb over. Um, and I'm going to run the little bead of wax down the length of the, the frame, letting melted wax melt the starter strip into the groove, turn and face it the other direction, and repeat the same action with the wax tube fastener. And then I put the wax tube fastener back in the double boiler where it can continue to fill itself up. The next frame that I have has not quite a full sheet of small cells uh, uh, foundation. I messed up on this one and I thought I was cutting it the, um, the, the size it was supposed to be for the frame, but you can see that it isn't, it's loose. And so I put a rubber band around it so that the, so that the bees won't take it outside of the frame when they're um, drawing the comb. I run the wax tube fastener down the length of this frame and I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. You might notice some damage in this frame and that's from where I messed up before and, uh, and hit the, the small cell foundation with the wax tube fastener with the hot wax in it and it melted a little bit of the foundation. Now, that should do it for these four frames. And so now what I do is I come back to the double boiler, empty out the wax tube fastener as best I can because whatever's left in it just solidifies inside the tube. I have a piece of wax paper in the pan with the frames that are being worked on so I'm just going to set that down on the wax paper. I'm going to take the chopsticks out of the pan as well and turn the double boiler off. And now I still have wax in the double boiler, in the top of the double boiler. So I'm going to take that wax, which you can see, 
and I'm going to take it over and pour it into a bread pan um, so that it can be molded into sort of a candle, not, not a candle but a block of wax for the next time I need to use the wax tube fastener. So I'll put that right there so you can watch the wax being poured and I'm pouring it on top of some wax that was previously poured in this bread pan when I did this a little bit earlier today. So that can solidify and when it's all hard and solid it'll be ready for the next time I need to melt wax to uh, do further frames or to make, make candles or whatever I'd like to do with them. So there you go, that's how you use the wax tube fastener.